Okay, here's my budget booth. I call it the lavish booth after my buddy DJ Peck from Lavish Life Events. This is the one I have in black with my SB3 in it from Pioneer. I, I don't have any speakers hooked up to it, but I do have it turned on. So I've got my power running to it so you can see a little bit. Okay, let me take this cover off and we'll get into it. Okay, here I've got your back. I'll try to keep this kind of short. Right there's my uh, transmitter, my radios for my microphones. I've got two. I use a Phoenix Pro PTU-71. Uh, right there's the antennas for it. My Ape Labs remote. They're all just Velcroed there. The antennas I have going into these connectors on each side. Okay. Now to the main thing, let's talk about the mixer. Right here is my mixing board. Okay, I'm going to go to the back of my controller. Now an SR2 for, for you, you've got like a couple XLRs here, but you also have RCAs. You can use either one, it really doesn't matter. But what I always do is run in mono, okay, because I want everybody to hear everything from every speaker. That's just the way I am. Uh, a lot of times my speakers could be way over here and way over there and somewhere in between with a third one. So that's why I do it. <clears throat> Everybody has their own opinion. So anyway, see right here is my original microphone and, and volume, which that's not going to do me any good. So I use microphones that are coming from down there. I only use one quarter inch jack to play both of them. And I run it to right here, okay, channel one. It doesn't really matter which channel they're in, they're identical. I, that's just, for me, it's con more convenient. That's the one I'm going to be turning up and down more often. That's why I have it on the end. Now this one here is those two RCAs. These two RCAs, and you can use quarter inch, but either way, I have them running into a single XLR, okay, and I can give you the link to that if you want it, where I found it on Amazon. I've got mine running into a 90. You shouldn't have to do that unless you have a booth like this. It's just to keep it, you know, so it is below my, my line there, okay. So anyway, you can plug these just straight in. Now these are your speakers goes out to your speakers. I just have mine running around here to where I can easily plug them in there and then the power to the speakers right there. Okay, and you have EV50s I think so that should work. Now another, th so with this you've got a gain. You have your uh, volume knob, your level, um, and you also have your highs and your lows. Now this button here is for effects. I usually don't even use it. Okay. I uh, don't fool with this mono and stereo button because I'm already running everything from mono. Okay. What that does is it connects these two channels and uh, brings them all together. But I don't run my wiring that way. So I leave that up. I leave my effects buttons up unless I'm going to do karaoke. And then I'll use push the effects in and turn that up a little bit for some reverb. That's where I have mine set right there for reverb. So anyway, yeah. When you're first setting your gains up, make sure, you know, that your trim on your controller is... Uh, I don't have a computer hooked up with any music to show you. But put your trim and your master about where they need to be for your for your comfort anyway, for your wherever you're playing. But you don't want anything coming into the red. Make sure you're doing that. Don't have anything come into the red. Green is great. Yellow, you're pushing it. I don't like to go out of your first yellow light. But anyway, so start clean from the beginning. Once you start clean from the beginning, 
then come over here. Okay, you get over here, turn that up to 80%. There is a, a little triangle arrow. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, there it is at 80%. Put that there, never raise it any higher. You can take it lower if you need to, but never raise it any higher. Okay, and then do your music first. So for me, it's channel two. Okay, I have the DB button pressed in. Uh, it's hard to hard to visualize. The one that's got the gray background on it. I have that one pressed in, and the there's an 80 hertz high pass filter. I leave it out for music. Okay, gains on these are both set at around 10 or 11 o'clock. I don't usually mess with these either. Not on, on music. I can do that up here on the controller. And what you do with this one is you turn it no further than uh, 3 o'clock, number 8. There's a little arrow for that one too. That goes for all of these. Um... When you're setting this up, what you want to do with this gain is make sure these peak lights are not flashing. You don't want them to peak. That's really it's more important for your microphone than it is your uh, music, but they're both important. Um, that's really all I can tell you about that. Just play with the gain knob and this knob and your volume knob on your, uh, you know, on your mics. I leave mine at 50%. You can see the dials, both of them, are equal. They're both pointing straight up right there. Okay. Um, I use my head, well, I use my headphone jack out of my controller, okay? I do not use the headphone jack supplied with the mixer. Now, I have it hooked up, but I use that as a external monitor or external speaker or even a videographer if they want to plug in. They have their own volume control right there. So I just kind of use that that way. I uh, hope this answers your questions. Um, I can't really think of anything else. If you have any more questions, just give me a holler. You know where to find me.